how's it going it's chris and it is the sunday blues um going live every sunday with a lesson with a bite-sized blues lesson um and this week we're looking at some john lee hooker inspired um stuff on the zoom lesson inside uh, acoustic masterclass which of course i'll be teaching straight after this lesson so i hope to see you there um but as always as a precursor to the lesson i teach a little bite-sized lesson here online um to get you warmed up ahead of today's main live lesson so um let me know you can hear me uh i'm just checking that i'm using the right microphone uh audio yeah it looks like i am um let me know where you're watching from in the world thanks kenny good to know kenny you're tuning in and and it sounds good i appreciate that um <clears throat> So yeah, John Lee Hooker, I've uh, been really getting into him recently. And in this lesson, we're going to look at a lick, um, a kind of intro lick that John Lee Hooker plays. Um, uh, and basically, I got a, um, a student inside the site. Thanks, Alan. Cheers, mate. Um, a student uh, at AcousticMasterclass.com suggested this as, as the lesson. So we're doing um, Crawling King Snake later on um in just under an hour on zoom um and i've just sent out the sheet actually so if you are a member you'll have received that um there's a load of tabs there and what we're going to look at now is um the first tab so if you're not a member of course you can still get in and take the lesson um if you are a member we're going to be looking at tab one um, of the five and I'm just going to show you this intro lick first of all so um, so imagine you're playing a blues in a the lyrics go crawling king snake and I rule my day Pretty cool, pretty bluesy, um, John Lee Hooker style. So this, of course, would work on any blues in A. You know, it's very similar to um, Robert Johnson's Me and the Devil Blues. You know, Clapton covered it. Uh, Early this morning, somebody knocked upon my door. We're using that same shape. Um, so... What you've got to do is get your first finger eighth fret of the b string okay second finger uh fret nine of the g okay so we're just playing two strings eight on the b nine on the g and we, we kind of kind of we pick the the g first then the b and then we repeat We do that four times, so we go one, two, three, like that. It's okay. It's quite. It's actually really hard to count and play. You know, um, I've been struggling with that all day. It's easier just to do it by by hearing it. You know, so so we do it. Four times the fourth time we we then we pick the G again so we go it's where the t probably where the tab would come in useful actually which of course is inside the site um, so after we get to that point we're going to do a bit of a slide down in fact if you use your your third finger to play the g and your second finger to play the b it it sets you up nicely for the next bit so that's the first half of the lick yeah. 
Um, after that, we pick the ninth fret again on the G, and we immediately slide from nine to seven. And then we go, so nine to seven, fifth fret with the first finger, then boom, to the root, fifth fret on the, uh, on the D string. Sorry, seventh fret on the D string. So again, slowly, I'll just show you the first part. We we pick the G string five times and the B string four times. That's one way to look at it. And we start on the G, we go. Then second part, slide. If you want to continue, you can go after you hit that root note, that kind of solid landing on the A like this. You could then follow it with a, which is what John Lee Hooker does in Crawling King Snake. You could go, so that's seven on the D, five on the B, uh, sorry, five on the G, then three times, bam, 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 playing that root note, seventh on the D. loop it I'm gonna slow it down and loop it and again So yeah, there's a lovely little lick and I just continued on playing. In today's Zoom lesson, I'm gonna be showing you five different positions. So that's one. And of course, we will be looking at jamming because John Lee Hooker, when he plays Crawling King Slate, you can listen to it you know, on Spotify or YouTube. If you get the same recording that I've been listening to, um, he's definitely jamming a lot, you know. I, I'm pretty sure he, he cut, this is, this he probably always played the same. That intro but the rest of the time he's definitely free you know and there are five different shapes around the fretboard we're going to be looking at that's the first one and and what yeah the point is this this position you can jam around with it you don't have to play it exactly as I tabbed it out um, you could also you know you you could just go So you don't have to kind of hang there. You could actually just shorten it. You could go. You know, and include that into your blues playing arsenal, you know. It's so close to Boom Boom, which was, of course, a John Lee Hooker song. He played it in a different place, but it's the same lick, you know. So, one of John Lee Hooker's favorite licks, and there are five that I've discovered that we're going to be looking at in the Zoom lesson starting shortly. Of course, if you do miss it, it will be in the members' archive, so you can re watch it later. Um, if you miss today's live lesson, I should say happy, but happy Easter, by the way, happy Easter, everybody. Um, so yeah. How's everyone doing? You know, if you do have any questions, I can hang around for a few minutes. Um, if any, any questions want to come in, um, feel free to type away. Um, yeah, here's the tab that 
I've just sent out as an email for Crawling King Snake Blues. Um, I just picked five of his go-to positions. So we're going to be looking at how to improvise in each um, position, John Lee Hooker style, some little hacks, some ideas of how to how to jam John Lee Hooker style, you know, because he definitely has his favorite go-to places. One in particular, I really um, am looking forward to getting my head around because I worked it out today for the first time, this position that he uses a lot. And um, it's going to, it's actually really going to help my blues, particularly in the key of A, because uh, I didn't know it. And it, it's a lovely little open position, A lick. So we're going to be looking at that today in the lesson. Um, and of course, I'm going to teach you how to play the tune. I'll tell you a quick story um, about, uh, I heard uh, uh, about John Lee Hooker. Um, I live in, I'm from a town called Shrewsbury in England. Um, although right now I'm still in France, a couple more weeks and then I head back to the UK, still gigging out here. Um, but I live in a town called Shrewsbury and there's a guy called Tony McPhee who, um, who had a band called the Groundhogs and he lived in Telford, which is 10 miles from Shrewsbury. And he was a, like the local legend. Uh, if you're a blues guitarist, he's, he was, he is, uh, unfortunately he died last year. Um, but had an amazing career and he was the local blues legend you know he knew everyone in fact i think peter green kind of dug him and i think even there was an interview with clapton where he raves about mcphee you know so um definitely in there and he when john lee hooker came to the uk um he used to get tony mcphee to back him in his band and uh so Tony McPhee played a lot with John Lee Hooker and I was, I was playing one night in a bar called the Haygate and Tony McPhee came, we were playing, I mean, my friend, and he came and stood at the bar and I did the sound check and he got in early, obviously for some, he knew the promoters. So I stood at the bar and I chatted to him for half an hour and we had a beer and um, he told me this story about John Lee Hooker. He told me a few, uh, but one in particular, which is musical, a musical story, not a, not a rock and roll kind of lifestyle story. Um, he told me that the band, uh, the band, the John Lee Hooker band, um, never knew what he was going to do, as in he'd play a song like Crawling King Snake. Um, and it's really interesting knowing this and then listening to the recording. If you played in his band, he wouldn't change key at the right time. Uh, sorry. Yeah, he wouldn't change chords at the right time. Like if you... He, if you said play a 12 bar blues, there's no way it's going to be a 12 bar blues. And that is actually why I've, I've written out the sheet the way I have. Um, normally I put a chord sheet at the bottom, like the, the chord progression, 12 bars or 16 bars, 32 bars. But with John Lee Hooker, you can't do that because he would hang on a note. He would hang on a chord like this. Uh, so this song, Crawling King Snake, it goes... Uh, it's a blues in A, but it goes to the fourth chord. It goes to the D for the first line. So it goes. Uh, well, I'm a crawling king snake. So I've got a D there. And I. Oh my God. Now you'd usually go back to the D there. Ba, ba, da, 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 which would be fine. But John Lee Hooker wouldn't do that. He would go. Yeah, I'm a crawling king snake. They rule my den. I'm a crawling king snake. So, you see what I did? I stayed on the A for an extra bar or two or three. I didn't even count. So he's jamming the whole time. He's ad-libbing. So if you're playing in his band, you know it, the D is coming. You know that next lyric is going to be given, you know. Well, I'm a crawling king snake. But you can't stick to the structure. So you could, you know, so it must be funny not knowing that and then listening to his recording going, every verse is a different structure. Why has he done that? It's because he's making it up as he goes along. Um, 
And that's why I've written the chord sheet like this. I haven't put a normal, uh, the normal kind of progression, as I say, with the bars, um, cause, cause he can't with him cause he's making it up, which is a great freedom. And it's really nice. Actually, it's a really nice thought. Um, it's, it takes me back to when I first started playing the blues and I just, I pick up the guitar. <laughs> Maybe go to D. You know, so there's no, there's no structure. Uh, it's just total freedom to jam. And if you can understand that and get free, then man, you know, then you're playing the blues one way, you know, but you've got to have a good band around you to be able to keep up because you don't want different people going to the wrong chord and you can't go to the wrong chord if you're playing with John Lee Hooker. Um, so that was an interesting story from Tony McPhee. Anyway, that was today's blues bite size lesson. I went on a bit at the end there, but it was an interesting story. Um, of course, the lesson will refresh. So if you if you want to watch it, if you missed the start, if you've just joined, this video will refresh. But better still, come inside. I'll catch you on Zoom. Um, in about 40 minutes, uh, we're going to be going live on Zoom with today's main lesson on the Crawling King Snake Blues. We've got five cool positions we're going to be looking at, and I look forward to seeing you there. Um, if you're not a member and you do want to get in, just follow the link around this video. If you are a member, then yeah, I'm going to see you there. Kenny, Alan, thanks for the comments. I'll see you there. Um, I'm checking out now, and I'm going to be uh, getting ready for 